morning everyone i'm cc slc gamer bringing you another video and today i'm going to be talking some new marvel updates that they've recently been showing today and also gonna remind you guys of some of the things that are coming up so for the news updates for marvel they've officially told us that they've found their cast for the fantastic four but the one downside is they won't be able to reveal it until the actor strike is officially done and it's still going on which is got me a bit worried because if it's not going to be over by the end of this month this year that would mean more movies being delayed and we'll just have to keep waiting longer and longer until we officially know who's playing the Fantastic Four. Now, as for who is the Fantastic Four, it's got me scrounging around my head a little bit because they've like shown so many options for the heroes, like with Adam Driver having a chance of being Mr. Fantastic, Vanessa Kirby as Invisible Woman, Zac Efron as Human Torch, which I don't think that's a good idea. And with Jason Segel possibly being the thing, it's got me wondering who exactly is the Fantastic Four and are they gonna be good enough? Hmm. But some other news, if you've seen our latest video on our channel what's this versus what if you will hear me mentioning that they've set up a story for both Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars where the heroes in our universe are going to be battling the Kang Council which who we saw in the end of Quantumania and in the beginning of Secret Wars they will have a multiversal team of Avengers that the TVA have formed to help the heroes from Earth 616. And that team of multiversal Avengers is gonna be led by Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. So that officially confirms that Tobey Maguire will eventually return for Secret Wars and maybe Andrew Garfield, nothing about him yet, but if Toby's returning, I have hopes that Andrew will as well. <clears throat> and for Spider-Man related stuff, you all have been seeing my latest sandbox videos of the new Spider-Man game. And we are about a week away from that game officially being released on the PlayStation. And I am excited. They've shown the black suit, so many cool new suits that they're going to put in there, even the Bully Maguire black suit. Um, let's see. Also, the fact that they're actually making the skins have three different shades of colors for the suits, that's got me very excited to actually play a suit, but with a different version of the colors. Hmm. But... Yeah, you will see some Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos beginning on the morning of the 20th, but the game will be available to play around Thursday night, so I'll probably be up around maybe 11 p.m. to make my first video for that, and I hope you guys will watch that. But other than all that, that's all the stuff that's going to be happening for this month but I also want to remind you guys that in my latest videos talking about the Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey sequel they've said that the trailer will be released next month which we're getting close to so keep your eyes open for a video where it's me doing a reaction video for that but all in all that's all I have for you guys today Comment down below what you think of these updates and reminders. And if you enjoy the video, go down there, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe to show your support. 
and I will see you guys next time. See ya.